All right, folks, uh, this is the same 2016 Subaru that I did the transmission fluid change on before. When I look at that fluid, it looks much, much greener. Um, that's my feeling. I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Sorry about that. A little disturbing to have the phone just slapped down on the ground, but that's just the way it is. So as I look at it, it's much greener. It's still got a little sort of touch of yellow to it, but it's much greener. And so what I've done is I put five quarts of new fluid in. We know that it holds about 11 to 12 quarts of fluid on a dry fill. You can't do the dry fill uh, there's no way to do it. So you can only put in five quarts of fresh fluid, leaving about seven quarts of old fluid. And then I mixed it up for about 50 miles. And I would say this is dramatically cleaner. So I'm going to put another five quarts in, same routine I used before. Uh, but the nice thing is, is I've already diluted the bad fluid by potentially another 40-50%. So I will be back. All right, this is the drain plug. This is the washer gasket you replace every single time. Just doesn't make sense not to. I understand some people, the two bucks is gonna kill them, uh, but a leak will kill you even more. Uh, there it is on the, this is a 14 millimeter plug. Let's see if I can get the gasket off and I can. And the torque spec is for the drain, it's 31 Newton meters. 274 inch pounds or 23 foot pounds and uh, it's always important to use the torque I'm not going to use the torque I'm sure all of you know how to do it the it has been draining oh let's see yeah let's see if we can get that puppy in there probably drop it into the whole bucket but you know that's part of the character building of working on cars. The professionals know what they're doing and the do-it-yourselfers, we struggle. So the next part is I'm gonna be taking the fill plug out there, which is gonna be, let me turn this light on. Yeah, I had it on, but I didn't have it in the right direction. So I'm gonna take out the fill plug it also requires a brand new gasket slash washer. Um, I doubt that I really need it, but you know, it's a case of, well, you know, in the army, we used to say we didn't have time to do it right, but we had time to do it twice. I don't have the patience to do it twice. I freely admit that. So here we have, that's the old one. Here's the new one. And once again, the fill plug is 50 Newton meters, 36.9 foot pounds, inch pounds, who cares? But that will be done. Now, just to review what I'm gonna do, I will take three and a half quarts of this stuff, because I already know from previous measurements, that's how much came out. I will put it in the fill hole using a pump. I will then gently close the fill hole. I won't torque it down. I will start the car up. And then I will take my scanner and once again, measure the automatic transmission fluid temperature. And just to repeat it, because people like to know this information, the ATF, the CVT, F-2, uh, wants to be between 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. I choose on an average 100. Just to repeat it, this ATF expands as it heats up. So you've got three and a half liters of fluid in the transmission. You start the car up. You run through all the gears. Do not move the car. You can see the wheels are chucked. Do not move the car. Just simply run it through the gears. Circulate the three and a half liters of fluid that's in the uh, pan up into the transmission, then while the car is running and it's at 100 degrees, you add 
about another liter and a half of the CVTF fluid in there. Then you'll wait for it to start just dribbling, just drop, drop, drop. And then you put the fill plug back in and you're done. It's fairly straightforward. This will be my second time in a few days I've done it. I'll try to put the data in on the description. I'll be back. All right, folks, uh, this is the fill plug. This is the eight millimeter socket. And this is the new crush ring. Yeah, I know the old crush ring is there and it's probably a couple of days old, who cares? So the fill is 50 newton meters. Now you take the assembled piece here because I'm gonna show you why. And you have it ready to go. Now, there's the fluid. There's the fill right up there. I'm gonna put three and a half quarts of this in there, which fills it when it's cold. It's gonna take five, but I have to start it up. We'll go through that. All, All right. right, scanner. Not the most expensive one in the world. It's a top dot. Uh, I've used it before. Oh, let's see. Diagnostic history. Yeah, the Subaru. We're gonna go quick access. It's a Bluetooth enabled. Only way to get it if you can. Cable is fine if you just all you can afford. System selection, transmission. It's got three and a half quarts out of five in the tranny. I've cycled it through a reverse park drive all that good stuff so that I can get the fluid up read data stream I'm pretty sure that's it we'll find out ATF temp okay oh the value is 96 already I better get working Talk all right later. all done time to give a little wipe take off the extra goop um yeah, it always pays to hit it with a little brake clean because if you don't hit it with some brake clean and you see a little goop later on, you're gonna wonder, is that a little leak? Now I hit this area pretty heavy because it's got a ledge right there which will catch the fluid that's been dripping down and then if you do check it later, you'll suddenly end up with a question mark. Is that new fluid, new tranny fluid, or old tranny fluid? So 50 Newton meters, 31, put in about five quarts of new ATF. I did notice something interesting on the container. Now this is just me being me. It says that it has improved noise reduction compared to what? But it's advertising, I get it. It's approved for the four cylinder non-turbo Linotronic transmissions, the CVT. Uh, so enjoy. Like I said, I've done it twice. Has a cold fill of about 11 or 12 quarts. I've done five, ran it for about 50 miles, drained it, put another five in. I think it's as clean as it's ever gonna get, at least under my tutelage. And uh, use the scanner, which I love. Well worth the money, buy one. You wanna have one ideally that's wireless. It makes it easy to get underneath the car and watch the temps. So I love you all, peace out.